Have you guys ever played a game in a stupid way? Well, today we're gonna to be looking at an animation for someone who played Pokemon Diamond in a stupid way, and we're gonna check it out. Back when I was in school, Pokemon was in its heyday. Everyone was trading cards on the playground, arguing over which legendary is truly the strong. Oh, oh, there's Luffy back there. You see, see him back there? Building a, what I think is a gum gum fruit. I don't remember what that fruit looks like. Then racing home after school to watch Ash Ketchum lose another battle. But if that wasn't enough, that's a mood right there. <laughs> Ash just losing battles all the time. And if you had the money, you could set out on your very own Pokemon journey on the Game Boy. And you know what I, I got for my birthday? A Game Boy. And you know- Game Boy SP. That was a pro one right there. We had like a bunch of those in my house just because we got them as like hand-me-downs a bunch. And we love them. What game I picked out? Cats with a Z. <laughs> but on my next birthday, I got a Nintendo DS and <laughs> Nintendogs. And a little while after that, I got Pokemon Diamond. Poke hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. underplay Nintendogs. Nintendogs was elite at that time. Funny, funny enough, I was actually just cleaning out a closet yesterday and I found my instruction manual for my DSi I got when I was like 11 or something like that. And I guess I still had it. Pokemon Diamond was my first Pokemon game. Part of me definitely feels Diamond. like I missed out on what some would argue was the best generation of Time Pokemon pony. by not playing Pokemon Red or Yellow or Blue on the Game Boy. But I don't know. I have a soft spot in my heart for the Sinnoh region. Oh, don't be a hater of other gens uh, just because you think one's more elite than the other. They're all pretty good and all have their flaws. It started like any other child's Pokemon career. I really appreciate her showing her freckles on her animation because I know me myself being like a very freckled individual, um, hard to see on camera. <clears throat> it's nice to see uh, that kind of representation. Sometimes you feel a little different. One fateful day, my virtual mother kicked me out of the house and told me to go touch some grass. I said stay <laughs> out of the tall grass. So my virtual childhood best friend and I set like out on the crown like uh, the fairly odd parents out on our adventure. As the game goes, you find the local mad scientist, aka Professor Rowan, checking out the lake. But when he leaves, he forgets his suitcase. Ho ho ho. Well, my mom did tell me to touch some grass, so I haven't actually watched one of uh, her videos before, so I'm not sure if these are supposed to be like people based on uh, other people like in her life or her friends because Professor Rowan didn't really look the way he was supposed to, nor did I think Don is the other. No, it's the boy trainer whose name I don't remember. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> <laughs> the suitcase has Pokemon in it. We have to use them. Up until. Oh, okay, okay. So she she uses her uh, friends as voice actors and then bases the character design off of them. Gotcha. Okay, I'm on the same page. This game, I didn't really know that much about Pokemon. Like what types are weak against what? I just thought they were cute, but I had to make a decision. So I figured. Well, Before we all start. Fire's pretty dangerous. Chimchar, I choose you. Ooh, chicken. Nice. After that, you go home and your mom tells you to return the Pokemon to the professor in the next town over, Sand Gem Town. Oh, oh. What? wow, you're pretty good. Hey, why don't you become a Pokemon trainer, hey? Do I get to touch grass? You sure do. So with my virtual parents' permission, I set out to become a Pokemon master. Except, not really. Again, I was maybe nine years old at the time, and I had just finished Nintendogs, so I didn't bother catching any Pokemon that I didn't think were cute, <laughs> or at least <laughs> useful. The first Pokemon I caught was Starly, because it was hard fighting off all these wild Pokemon with just Chimchar. And two Pokemon worked pretty well, though it got a little harder when other trainers on my route wanted to battle me, so I avoided them. Can't lose if you don't try. I'd run around. She's just, she's speaking in such like moods all the time. I feel like, it's like, I can't lose if I don't try. <laughs> on them, duck and hide, or sometimes I'd just find a different path entirely, even nice. if it was treacherous. What can I say? I'm a lover, not a fighter. But that was the entire point of the game, so. <sighs> I did what I had to do. I came, I saw, I conquered, and I stole some kid's lunch money. Eventually, though, I was getting outnumbered by these kids and their Pokemon, so I needed to bring another member onto the Illimation Dream Team. Get Shinx. And thankfully, that's when I stumbled upon yeah. Shinx. Look how cute he is. Yes. Oh, what a good boy, Shinx. After that, I made it to the next town, Jubilife City. She's like slowly making like the team that I made in Pokemon Diamond because Shinx and Starly are just great. 
And okay, look, there's a building there called the Trainer's School where I did have the opportunity to learn everything I should have known by now about Pokemon. But did I make use of that wonderful tool? Heck no, I'm nine years old, I'm here to vibe. So I continued on my merry way and then my childhood best friend betrayed me. He challenged me to battle. Like, dude, I thought we were friends. You of all people should know I hate battling, but there was no way around it. If I wanted to continue the game, I had to defeat him. So I did what I had to do. I smoked him and stole his lunch money. I then arrived in- This is payment because you made me do something I didn't want to do. <laughs> Orberg City. I don't know how to say that. And I was excited to receive my first gym badge against the rock type gym leader. Unfortunately, I learned that fire doesn't do much to rock and I should have picked a grass or water Pokemon to make things easier. Oh, Shanks, what did- Oh, okay. Uh, can you beat the gym leader now? Sick. <laughs> One badge down, seven more to go. And nice. the next badge to get was the forest badge. So I continued my journey into Floroma Town. And that's where I found the accessories shop. And later, I got to dress up my Pokemon and put them in beauty pageants. Look at- does, does Pokemon Diamond have the um, the ball capsule thing where you can make them come out in certain ways? I don't remember if that was in Platinum or not. How oh, cute they are! After that, I headed into the Valley Jinx's Windworks, boots. where I caught Pachirisu and Shellos, because they were cute. Uh, who are you? I'm Commander Mars of Team Galactic, and we're here to take over the world one battle at a time. After that, I headed into Eterna Forest. And boy, was that a tough trip. Lots of Pokemon to fight, lots of lunch money to steal, lots of grass to touch. But I made it through to Eterna. Are you not even gonna, isn't it the forest where you have to take someone with you and do all the double battles? I don't remember her name. Eterna City. And it was time to get my second gym badge. I was feeling pretty good about it too. It was a grass gym and I had fire Pokemon, but this gym had some new challenges. Our second badge is what you seek. You must fight the traitors in the trees. In the trees? Yes, the trees. Wait, where are you going? Back to the forest. There's lots of trees there. My nine-year-old hubris had finally <laughs> caught up to me. I was so dumb and I got so stuck. I clocked 100 hours looking for the gym leader in Eterna Forest. <laughs> it got so bad that a bunch of my Pokemon evolved and they hit such high levels that they wouldn't listen to me anymore. And the only way to solve that is by getting the second gym badge. And this is where I would put my second gym badge. If I had one, I got so <laughs> fed up, I dropped the game completely. But that's when I started my first Animal Crossing game. And one fateful day, while I let my friend check out my Pokemon file, they said, Hey, uh, someone wants to battle you? Oh yeah, they're annoying, just run around them. Well, they said they were, uh, a gym leader? What? Give me that. So yeah, turns out the gym leader was in the gym. Who would have thought? Not me. After that, I got the rest of my gym badges without any trouble. Mostly because my Pokemon were so buff, it didn't matter what type they were up against. I didn't end up beating the Elite Four, but that's okay. I had fun. Plus, I preferred the beauty pageants. I guess what I'm trying to say is, Pokemon can be really competitive and serious, but if that's not how you play, that's fine. Games are made to be enjoyed, and there's no right or wrong way to have fun. So with that, thank you for watching my videos. Look up a walkthrough if you get stuck in a game, and as always, stay safe. That was a great video. Nice contrast to a lot of the animations for Pokemon Nuzlocke's uh, or just Pokemon Adventures Total where they kind of just know what they're doing and walk through the game. I really like that contrast where she didn't really know what she was doing, just threw it away. I'm sure we've all had that experience whenever we were younger and just didn't know what to do. Um, if you did like that video though, you can go check out the original and follow up with her channel, uh, Illy Animations. Illy Animations, sorry. If you guys did enjoy this, be sure to check out Mario in Pokemon.